Hello, folks. Welcome to Cudlow. I'm Larry Cudlow. While it's quite true that year-over-year -year inflation is cooling as the Fed has slammed on the brakes, it is also the case that people are working as the unemployment rate is low. It's good. But what the Bidens don't seem to understand is that their economic polls are hovering in the 30s because average working folks are losing affordability on a daily basis. You may have a job, which is great, but after inflation, your take-home pay has gone down 26 of the past 29 months. So you may have to take a second job. In fact, each spouse in the family may have to take a second job to get by, so both have to take second jobs. What's the problem? The level of prices has risen significantly in the past two years. This from Biden's frenzied government spending is war on fossil fuels and, of course, the Fed's money printing until recently. For example, think of this. The level of the consumer price index is up 16% since February 2021. Day-to-day -day necessities like groceries, well, they're up 19%. Gasoline, $3.85, is up about 40%. You know, it was about $2.35 a couple of years ago. Meats, poultry, fish, up 19%. New cars, up 20%, if you can get one. Used cars, up 34%. You go down the list, and you can see that these outsized price hikes take a real toll on traditional family life. Overall, real wages are down 3%. The average family is spending over $700 a month more for everyday purchases than they were two years ago. Mortgage rates now running upwards of 7.5%. So, housing affordability, the worst since 1997, according to my pal Liz Peake. And according to House Speaker Kevin McCarthy, who's going to be here in just a moment, the reality of back to school under Bidenomics is very expensive. Pens, markers, mechanical pencils cost 13% more today. Binders and folders cost 48.5% more than they did just a year ago. Crayons, highlighters, up an average of 18.5% over the past year. So, when my friend Jared Bernstein, who is the chair of the Council of Economic Advisors, when Jared says that questions about inflation have gone stale, he's really missing the point. Affordability is different than inflation. The causality may be somewhat similar, namely excess spending and money creation, but the reality is that individual prices can be family killers. And the other point worth making is, despite a softer inflation rate recently, especially compared to the gigantic inflation of a year ago, the overall problem of rising prices has not yet really been solved. And I want to make another point. Last week, I spoke with former President Donald Trump about the need for supply-side policies like lower taxes and regulations, a lid on federal spending. But Mr. Trump's first love is something he calls liquid gold. Now, that refers to our vast energy resources, including, of course, oil and gas. Now, liquid gold affects literally hundreds of prices throughout our economy. The obvious one is gasoline. So open up those spigots, reignite production, and hundreds of businesses and family-oriented prices will go back down to where they were several years ago. That will conquer family inflation. It will also conquer all the other flations you can possibly think of.